in the streets of Gaza. We are a war crime nation. And that's what you respond with. You're going to go to hell. Like, I'm sorry. One good deed does not suppress all the fucked up bad deeds you do. If you support the Israeli government now, you're going to hell. There's the test. The great deception is that Israel was of God. That yeah. That no. land that they founded in 47. No. Jacob, That's the great deception. Jacob has always been a thief. Just remember that. The Nazis won the war. The Nazis won the war. And they set up a base in the Middle East. And it's called Israel. That's it. They all changed their names. They all change their names. Listen, if we get killed, you're going to know why. Like, I'm starting to hear stuff around the house and stuff. If we die, it's worth it. Because it's the truth. And we'll be in heaven, and Jesus will return. That's, that. I honestly, I believe that's why they won't kill us. Because we will bring the coming of Jesus Christ when we die. Yeah, I made a deal with them on that one. Sorry. When I get when I walk into his doors, there's no way after the conversation I have with him that he's not going to decide that it's time. I know that. I made an agreement with him in 2004 on that. I have an agreement with him as well. So fucking kill me. Because I'm going into the courtroom. Do, do, do you want us to go to that courtroom? And I will be pleading. I mean, you do worship your, your hermaphrodite uh, goat. Uh, so, uh, I mean. Uh, do you really want to go through that? A hermaphrodite goat. Drawn by Adolphus Levi, a Kazarian. Ain't that nice? Well, let's talk about the tree of life, you know? The Clefo. Let's talk about that shit. You guys are all satanic. The government of Israel is satanic. Period. And he always was a thief. The planter. Yep. He always was the thief. See, Israel, the person, was originally named Jacob. Correct. Jacob means thief. That's right. He always tried to steal his brother's inheritance, Esau. Esau was a very hairy man. He wasn't good looking. But Jacob decided to go and steal the blessing from his blind father. Jacob means heel catcher. You know why they named him that? Because Esau was coming out first. So the, ble the child with the blessing would be the one that comes out first. That's their tradition. The baby came out, two babies at the same time. Because why? Jacob would have been second. He was grabbing the heel of Esau coming out. The fairest thing their father should have done is have them share equally. Yes. And we would have had no wars if he actually made the right decision. That's right. And it could have been solved before that even with Abraham not kicking out Hagar and embracing. And that's what I we're seeing. And that's what we're spiritually seeing right now is the fact that they have made oh. so many mistakes <coughs> in the Bible. You see every single mistake Abraham made. You see what the mistake that 
Esau and Jacob had. It was all about the brothers Isaac. get uh, Isaac, 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 Isaac the father, the father yes, of, Abraham, uh, of, uh, of Esau ja and Jacob. Yes. Later on, God God named Jacob Israel after he got the inheritance. That's right. He always stole Israel. He always stole that land. Do you know that God had me read this entire story before any of this shit? That's, it's a, that's like, oh my God, he didn't leave me, you know. I was afraid that I was no longer gifted with his, what I had. But it was just not time for me. I was supposed to go through this hell in my life of literally losing everything. For the sake of taking care of a family. That's what I did. I lost everything for it. And I need a name change. I already know my new name, new name is Yehuda. That's what I was called by the, one of the guys in the mental ward when I got saved in 2004. He called me Yehuda. Judah. My sacred name is destiny. What's the Hebrew word for destiny? I that's don't know. Your, that's your name. I would put it in Aramaic instead. Yeah, that's even better. See, Judah in Aramaic is what? Yehuda. Well, it's probably the, it's probably the same as in Arabic. The Palestinian speaking almost. Yeah, they, they said, do. Who did this to you? you Yehuda. Yehud. Yehud. That's that's Arabic for a Jew. Yehud. The Germans when they were taking them in, they'd say Yehud. Or sorry, Yud. Just Yud, because it's like crude. Yud, in the fucking, in the train. Bye, bye. See, there's no excuse what Israel and the U.S. is doing right now. There's no excuse to their actions. None. They need to be held accountable. Yes. By someone. The world. They need to be held accountable for this. This is what the Bible didn't tell us, honey. And Protestant Christianity taught things wrong because they just didn't understand it. What the Bible doesn't tell you is at the end, Israel is going to deserve judgment. But it kind of does tell you that because in the book of Revelation, it says that the place that the Lord was crucified, Jerusalem, spiritually, is Sodom and Egypt. It is. Let me get you that. Yeah, uh, go ahead. This is, do you realize we're stepping into the role yeah. of what we're meant to do? Yes. I don't care anymore. I got nothing to lose. This is your book. If you want to get, okay, this is what you're reading. I don't endorse reading the Quran. I don't endorse reading any. <coughs> Jesus, God. <coughs> <laughs> you suck stuff down your windpipe. I did. Oh, that hurt. You know, soda really hurts when it's coming out of your nose because the it, effervescence. Oh, yeah. oh, it just snaps into your nose. That's so uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me for that. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, Lord Jesus. Maybe there was a demon in me or something. And it just popped out. Maybe, oh, maybe it was a, wick, a, a witch, a Satanist, and they're trying to curse me, but it didn't work. Yeah, this person probably because they're supporting genocide. They don't say anything else to you, though, I don't think. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of people that spoke. I was locked onto that. Okay. Ah. <sighs> This is your, I'm telling you, I'm not going to judge you anything. If you're atheist, I pray for you. Okay. This is your book. I'm telling you, if you want to understand what's going on, I'm telling you, this is your book right here. You need it and go to revelation. Cause we're, it's it. We're in it. 
Ah, oh, give me a second to find what I want to find. I suggest everyone read The Rights of Odin. Huh? The Rights of Odin? What's that, Carissa? Why you tell me to read that? Odin? Norse gods? Okay. That would be interesting, read. I'll give you that. Because I don't mind reading about... I don't care about, about, I don't care about any other book but the Bible because every answer is there. It's been, yeah, it, it, it has proven to me every time that I'm like, God, what the hell's going on? Where are you? He's like, pick this up and read it. And then there it is. This is a supernaturally written book. I don't think the Quran is at all. I don't think the Bhava Hagita, all that shit, it's not. No. This is a supernatural. I know Odin's a pagan god. This is a supernatural book. Of course I'd know what Odin is. I'm just wondering. I think her account is hacked, actually. <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking that I don't too. Think that's her. See, I like reading other books because it just helps me bring an understanding about their religion yeah, so I, I can that. bring Christ to them through their own understanding. Yeah, yeah, Paul would do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more like Peter. Plus, I'm interested in other religions and always have. It's the fascination. Yeah, me too, of mine. but it's it's bullshit to me. I don't need it. Th this is my shit. I, I don't need it, that other stuff. I'm getting there. This is the horseman. I think the horsemen represent Palestine. The colors are all there. Uh huh. The, all the colors are there. Uh huh. And then Protestant Christians found that and they're like, oh, Islam is of Satan. No. No. You're not right. It's much more complex than that. <laughs> Here's 144,000 being sealed, Shani. 144,000 sealed. Yeah. Here. Chapter 7? Yep. Oh, oh, that's a good number for mm, it. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Great earthquake. Okay, go cool. da, 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 da. close to what I'm looking for. This is, this is the blood of the martyrs crying out. They cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? That's Palestine. How are we pushing or forcing our faith? This is our channel. If we were forcing our faith on you, Krissa... That's not her, man. No, seriously. They're hack. Well, I'm going to say it. If we were forcing... Our faith on you, it would be on your channel. Yeah. We can... This is can, our channel. We can read whatever the fuck we want on our channel. I'm following my ancestors. Yeah, well, I am too. Well, that's cool if you're... Whatever. Odin? Fine. Amanda Breck, my one, I love him with all my heart. He, he believes in... Go uh, follow Odin. That's your objective. He believes in Marduk. So, Whatever. You believe whatever God you want to. It's a, that's up to you. I ain't gonna. I'm. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is where it's at. Does that offend you? If that offends you, be offended. Jesus Christ is where it's at. I follow ancient African. That's fine. Yoruba spirituality. That's cool. I'd yeah. love to learn a, a bit. Let me ask you. They how might do you feel be about cursed Jesus by their Christ? ancestors. I'm feel? not cursed by my ancestors. How do you feel about Jesus Christ? That's my only question to you. You could practice African spiritualism all day, all you want. That's fine. See, how, you're coming. How do you how do you feel about Jesus Christ? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Plus, I I believe it's you forcing your faith on me right now. But anyway, because mm. you're on my channel, <laughs> remember the world don't wrap around you. Mm -mm. 
third of third of all. You guys don't seem like you're forcing anything. I came here to hear about Christ. Thank you, Cat. Wow. wow, hey, that's awesome. You came here to hear about Christ. Yes, praise God. You're in the right place then. I'm looking for something, and I, I'm sorry. I'm slow sometimes. I'm really fucking riled up right now. This is the opening of the bottomless pit. Okay, bye, troll. By troll. I think they're Chris a hater. Yeah. Actually, Chris likes Bowie Blanc. Yeah. I don't think they're who they say no, they are. They're, they're not. Yeah, by. Worshipping devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone of which would neither can see nor hear nor walk. They're making gold statues to Donald Trump. The seven thunders that utter, and there's, he didn't write it. That's right. The seven thunders, that's a mystery. Write them not. Seal up these things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. It's not in here. That's something for us to hear, the mm -hmm. seven thunders. Whatever yeah. it is, I don't know. <laughs> See, I love this shit. This is, it just... There's going to be. He's a, called Revelation News for a reason. There's a lock and a key, and and I'm just trying to. I had a dream that I was in a cave, and there was a thing with a handprint on it. And I put my hand on that shit in the ironic blessing. You put it like that, and you twist it like that, and there's an entire fucking new city, Earth, on the inside of the fucking planet. Hollow Earth is real. That's real. I can't. Find it spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. Are you sure it's in Revelation? It is absolutely. It might be close to the end of the book, actually. Yeah, you're reading all like. Ugh. I'm going through the whole book of Revelation. Why don't you look it up on I, the internet? Yeah, I could. It'll make it easier. Yeah. You got the technology. Use your. Yeah, Chromebook. I'll do that. I like even the Bible. I love the Bible. <laughs> Gosh. I love the Bible. We'll do this. Absolutely. Come on. Johnny. He just put another one out. Awesome. I want to catch up with him. Okay. Yeah, we got to hook up with Johnny. Absolutely. Oh, that'd be so cool if I get to meet Johnny Cleck, dude. Revelation 11.8. I can't believe you had no. such a deep connection with him. That's yeah. so cool. No, we talked almost daily. Oh, uh, bro. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be starstruck to tell you the truth with Johnny Cleck. Of course, he's an amazing person. It's backwards. Pathetic. Why is our camera always backwards? Why is it? Fucking useless shit. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great... It's about the two witnesses. Yeah. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where the Lord was crucified. That's Jerusalem. That's about the two witnesses. God called Jerusalem at this time spiritually Sodom and Egypt. That means not worshiping the true God and their inhospitable assholes. You're there. You're there. Now, you keep looking at that sky because I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus Christ is coming in the clouds with power and great glory. It's going to happen soon. This is the Sabbath. Be ready for it. Repent right now, Jesus. I know I've not known you. I'm asking to know you right now because I can see that your book is proving itself. Every day. Every it's second. Yeah, it's proving itself. 
It's valid. Lord, forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. And you're done. You're in. You're going to change. And he'll probably meet you. At this point, we're so late. If you genuinely ask for that, he's going to probably show up at your door. But duh, 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 what's up? Let's have some food and talk. You might get that miracle. People will call you insane for a while. Who cares? Who fucking cares? You know Jesus. You're doing your own thing. You ain't hurting nobody. You got the Lord now. Yeah, That's exactly. all the fucking shit you ever need. I got blocked from her channel for saying that. All you need is <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's all you need. Okay, let's just... Okay. Let yeah, me, go let me, ahead. Let me explain Go this. ahead. I was really sad from being divorced. Mm -hmm. And Jason was doing this I ain't touching you fucking routine and not talking to you thing. Right. And it really depressed me. Mm -hmm. He kept saying, all you need is Jesus. And I was like, fuck you, asshole, and blocked him. <laughs> that was I, a friend I just, spat. I just need a friend to I, talk to. I know. That was a friend spat. Yeah. That's what that was. Yeah, that was. And I was a boy running from what, what was meant to be in my life, which is you. I was running from that. It was legitimate concern because I was—I knew I was an alcoholic and you had two children. I didn't want your two children around an alcoholic man. No, I get That's that. That's seriously what it was, hon. You know? But it worked out. It did. It did. In its own way. It did. We're it did. fucked right now. You know, got nothing, but praise God. He provides for... He provides for us in small little things. We got, we can get some stuff that we need. Yeah. It makes us happy because people that are, there's really kind people out there. Holy shit. Isn't that great? Yeah. I love that there's actual kind people out there. I love all the kind people in the world. I love them to bits. You know, I'm, I really don't like mean people, though. I'm just going to be honest. That's the, Those are the people that are very hard to love. Yeah. So, like... Man. But, but Jesus said, how you love your enemy is if they need water, give them water. If they need food, give them food. You know? He says that. Jesus is amazing. So, I, I give <laughs> them spiritual water and food as much as I can. There is nothing better than talking about Jesus. Thank you, that girl. Cat, Cat is, IP Casey said, I've had some rough situations lately, and God is the only one who got me through it. Amen. 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 God, God is the only reason why we're coming through. And it's, yeah, we're relying on God. Like, God is our, like, guy who helps us out that's like it. we just pray and pray and you know he gives us stuff huh? i'm gonna yeah. send you a song about the days of elijah and how jesus comes through the clouds you oh will i love, love it. it you will feel it to your core oh yay oh i want well, i'm gonna listen to that immediately yeah i'll dude. be sharing that shit we're in the time we're we are There's absolutely no doubt this happened in judea do people realize that gaza that area is literally where jesus walked They've been mentioning Nazareth. That's his hometown. Nazareth is it's his hometown. It's time to look in your Bibles because these things are being mentioned in real life. These people that are being slaughtered are his people. The people he, the generations that Jesus would have touched. How Jesus looks like. Look at the Palestinian people. That's how Jesus looked like. The Palestinian men. That's what Jesus looked like. This is his blood that's in the soil now. Do you get how serious this is? This is, the, the whole land of Gaza is covered in Jesus Christ's blood. There is family, his ancestors. That is the Palestinian people. Their bloodline is linked to the ancient, ancient Hebrews. Absolutely. It's Judea and Samaria. They have Jesus Christ's blood and yes. it's 
spilling on the ground of Israel. It's they time have, we wake up. They have the blood of Christ. Like the literal blood of Christ is in their veins. Do you know how amazing that is? And we're not saying that Jesus had kids. That's not what we're saying. Mm -mm. The genetic blood line that he came from is the Palestinian people. They are killing real Jews. When you see a little beheaded Palestinian baby that is a Hebrew that they murdered. Moses' people. Abraham's seed. And this isn't just happening in Gaza. It's happening in Africa. This skin is white. I'm probably safe. The Sudanese. Do you understand that? They're, the Congolese. They're genociding all of the brown and black people all the lines and that happened Jesus. and that happened in my book they're killing off the generational line of abraham that's it that's why it's so important that's why it should be the most important thing in your life is they're killing off the seed of abraham as a believer in christ we must protect the seed of abraham yeah. Okay. Those who bless Abraham shall be blessed. That's right. Those who curse Abraham shall be cursed. And and you have Christians using that verse to defend the fucking satanic Israeli Khazarian government. You're deceived. The great deception is that Israel is of God. This nation state of Israel. That's what I'm saying. They're thieves. The nation state of Israel are Khazarian Fake Jews, period. That's not anti-Semitic. It's anti-Satanist. I've been following the activities in Congo. It will make you sick. Yeah, I've been yeah. following it too. Yep. Yeah. I've been following it too. Babies, little kids stuck in these caves. Their bellies are distended like this because of malnutrition and starvation. And their eyes are like that. They can't even function. They have no food. And they make them naked and dehumanize them. Absolutely disgusting. Where where was that? All of those laborers that, was, that were nude? That was Congo. That was the Congo. Yeah. Where is the UN? Silent. No, they're complicit. Yeah, they don't care. They're brown people. The UN is complicit. Yeah. Do we understand that the UN is the U.S.? Do we get that? It's in the U.S. The headquarters is in New York. It's going to fucking get nuked. Get ready for it. <sighs> Shout out to Bando Lando. <sighs> the spirit of God, the breath of God is going to destroy this shit. Like a neutron bomb. <sighs> Jesus Christ is going to come in the sky with the breath of his mouth. <sighs> gone. Evil's gone. Like a neutron bomb. Do you know what a neutron bomb is? It just destroys biological material. The buildings will stand. Jesus is going to come with all the prophets. Yeah. Which Muhammad might be there. And Buddha. And, well, Buddha is definitely there. He was an avatar. Siddhartha was a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. The Bible says peacemakers will be called children of God. That includes Siddhartha. Siddhartha is 500 years before Christ. And to cats there, I see, this is so rough shit, you know, but you guys, cats and uh, uh, girl witch, witch? Cute, the girl with cute kids. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, hi. What's up? It's really bad. Yeah. Just keep your eyes on Jesus. Read the Bible, read Jesus' words. Read Revelation, absolutely. You should be in Revelation every day looking at it. That's where I'm at. He just keeps taking me to the letters in the churches and I get more. It's insane. That's why we have to catch up with Johnny because Johnny's probably getting massive downloads, man. Dude. Flip the switch on us again. He, yeah, he did switch on all the spiritual people, not just Christians, but all the spiritual people have been activated. Yep.
And isn't it interesting that Gary Moore decided to bring Revelation News back at this time? Yeah, exactly. That kind of shows me that God is still with him. Maybe. He just needs to repent hardcore. Yeah, he needs to move on with his You need to life. apologize to us, Gary. You really do. He won't. He's a narcissist. Well, if he won't, then he's done in my our life completely. Everything in the Bible is just unfolding before our eyes. That's right, Kat. That's right. You absolutely got it right. Live it, live it, live it, Palestine. Live it, live it, live it, Palestine. I'm trying to think. I want to chant that in front of the White House. Get us some gas money and we'll go to Washington. Absolutely. This fucking war criminal Biden shits his pants again at the fucking uh, uh, Normandy thing. And and Macron is like, whoa. Jill Biden even was like yeah, covering her nose. Jill was like this. The man shit his pants again. Donald Trump shits his pants, too. <laughs> you know how many skin marks I have? <laughs> Do we really have to <laughs> vote for men who shit their own pants? No! I have no skin marks. Like, come on now. Do we really have to vote for men who shit their pants? Isn't that insane, folks? Is this what we have to deal with? Oh, well, we'll vote for Biden again. Great. He's going to be in front of Putin. He's 80 fucking seven, you know, in 2027. Dude's going to die. Oh, in shits his pants in front of Putin. And Putin's like, my God. <laughs> 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 Can we get this guy? Let's not vote for two men that shit their pants. Not vote for men. Let's get a woman in there. The, I totally agree. I just said that to Shani. Not that warmonger or ha hag Haley, though. Fuck her. Fuck her. What a piece of shit. What kind of psychopath signs a bomb for glory? What did it Santa to finish them? Crush them? Probably. Finish them. That's what she said. They're animals. Finish them. Yeah. <laughs> Babies. They just, just dehumanize these people, and they don't deserve to be dehumanized, because if you actually watch Whoa. their videos, they are one of the most sweetest, kindest people I've ever seen in my entire life. And I don't mean the ones where they're dying. I mean their actual videos. Like, follow some Palestinians on Instagram and see how their videos are. Yeah. Like, there's these two young gentlemen that go around and show how Gaza is at this time. And they're just doing kid things, like going to the beach and, and you know, just... It's just such a beautiful community they the, have. The guys feeding kids. They're just yeah. so blessed. You know? It's such a beautiful community they have, the Palestinians. And they're trying to genocide all of this beautiful community and it's bullshit it's because they're the real jews oh please biden started sitting down but saw no one was just sitting yet stop your misinformation he shit his pants shut up <laughs> go away troll boy he shit his pants in front of the fucking world why do we have to have a president that shits his pants? He's so old. Write my fucking name in. It's Jason William Egroff. That's my legal fucking name. Write me in. If I am elected, I will serve. <laughs> that would make me the first lady, yo. Yes, it would. I'll be like focusing on all the kids and you got that and all the you know pedophiles. education they can have. Go after the pedophiles. I'll, yeah, man. I'll have those motherfuckers just gone. There'll be none left. 
Yep. And if people are thinking about pedophilia, I'll put them in like a strict therapy thing. There you go. And watched constantly. Your thing would be fixing mental health care in this country. That's true. That would be your thing. I only vote for Z Vermin Supreme, though. Oh, my God. You're amazing. I'm pinning that shit. That's a great vote. That's a great vote. Vernon would help me get my smile back. I would love to see what he would do as president. He's very intelligent. He's been running forever. I know. He deserves the, the win. He's very intelligent, man. Yeah, let's go for Vermin Supreme. Sure. I'd rather I'd rather vote with the man with the boot on his head. But that's then performative. Than a man who shits his pants. Whatever. Would you ra uh, who would you rather vote for? The boot man head or the man who shits his pants? The boot man. Because it just proves Joe Biden's so old he can't control his balls. Jill has to scrape shit out of his underpants before she puts him in the washer. He's a corpse. A reanimated fucking corpse. That's what they're all they all are. Is like and their faces are falling off. Their faces are falling off. What's with the neck thing they're all have? Mm -hmm. Like it's a mask almost. Mm -hmm. You know those masks that look like people and they like that's what these people look like they have. You know what I heard once? Yeah, okay. I can't remember exactly who it was. It might have been David Icke. But it was said that some of the trans-dimensional beings, because they're not from another planet, okay, the UAP stuff, it's mostly... You don't call them extraterrestrials. You call them ultra terrestrials because they're it's dimensional. It's not that they came from Alpha Centauri. They are lizard people lost in the abyss. Says that's a that's one of the things out there. Cat says it's so crazy. They time out. They might be AI androids. That could be true. Yeah. But I what I just want to get out quick. Is this Madame Trousseau's people could do it? Um, it's gone now because so much bullshit was said. Never mind. Ah, shit. Why? It's just gone because you you were reading other things. You know what? I life. love you in that hat. That looks so good on you. I I like my I like this fucking Rasta thing. I I've literally had 15 people come up to me and say, "Where the fuck do you get that? I love that hat." A black woman in Walmart, she was like, "That's my shit. I love that hat." <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit. You down with the OPP? Hey, you, you know, know me. me. You the down OPP? Hey, yeah, you, you know, know me. me. Are you OPP? Yeah, you know me. We're down with OPP. Yeah, yeah, this whole family. family. To the youngins that that look up that sh song. That's you'll, a great song. You'll you'll enjoy it. That's so good. That needs to make a comeback. That song. <sighs> no, I won't delete you for freaking that, man. That was hilarious. Good for you. She said, a chubby dovey said, you down with PPP, poopy pants presidents. <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking crazy, ain't it? <laughs> okay, performative stuff here. Ready? Okay. Senator McConnell, I have a question. You're running in 2026 for your re-election. What are your plans, sir? Oh, yes, I... I oh. Re-election. Sir?
fucker glitched. Yeah. That's our leadership. Maybe they got the neural link. Oh, God, I hope they use that, the trolls. Did, what? Guys, I'm telling the reaction channels, cut that. You could make something awesome out of that. Oh, they're going to. Oh, I, no. hope they, <laughs> I can't wait. To, I will actually watch, like, the geek room. If they, <laughs> I would watch that. That would be funny as fuck. Rev is having uh, mental issues. And he just put me on like that. Oh, uh. <laughs> Proof shanty drugs, Rev. Exactly, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking awesome, you know that. Oh my god, you're so awesome. Because I have to be the pariah. You see this? She's mine, my unicorn. I love this girl, man. I have to be the pariah. We both have one. I know, we're both wearing ours. See? see? And if we were into auto, auto association, you know, so, uh, 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 honey, pull mine. Pull mine. That oh my god, that's sexual. That would be just fucking fun. Sorry, men, men. <laughs> Some women like it too, honey. Oh yeah, all right. That's hot as fuck. You could get a blood clot and die. Uh, that's it's not. No, it's you're not right. good. Man, Don't do that. You're fucking right about that. Okay. But can you believe they designed this like that? I know. I they didn't did even, that. But it's like her queen, his his queen. So like, maybe they're S and M rings. I don't know. I just bought them because I thought they looked cool. You know. I wouldn't know. I love them. Yeah, you're not into that. Mm mm. Seen way too many people die of that auto asphyxiation shit. Okay, but could we be honest though? What? That you read and enjoyed 13 Shades of Grey. It's 30 Shades or whatever of Grey. it is. 50 Shades of Grey, actually. I don't care what it is. I 13 did. Shades of Grey is a I in, did, is a but I one. looked at it in a total psychological point of view. I know. Because I was in college when I read it. For psych. Oh, okay. Rev is pooping his pants. I did. No, I, I no, I didn't. Yeah. He, well, he has before. I I shit. Everyone my, shit their pants. I've shit my pants. Let's not lie. We've all shit our pants. I've shit my pants. Re but no. when you're in a public view and you're shitting your pants, it's probably you should retire. Yeah. Where's yeah. the lighter, man? You know, most people. Do you have it or do I have it? I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay. Mo I it. Oh, I do have it. Most people shit their pants at home when they're in bed and they they feel a fart and it's wet. Yeah. That's usually how it goes. But in public, that's when you have problems. Joe Biden is a reanimated corpse. <clears throat> Mitch McConnell is a glitched out bot. Semi-human bot. That's your leadership. That's true, man. Donald Trump is a complete egotistic, narcissist, rapist. That's your American politics. What do we do? I am legitimately asking that question collectively as the citizenry of this country. What do we do to stop this? Joe Biden and Trump are felons, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. They should both be in jail for the shit they've done. And they all have, like, these things connected to Ukraine for some reason. Mm -hmm. They all have connections to Ukraine. Another Nazi fucking state. Exactly. Say it, Shani, again. Yeah, Ukraine is a Nazi state, just like Israel. Amen. Look at that. Let's give more money to fucking Nazi Ukraine and Nazi Israel. It's like we have no say anymore. The people have no voice. Yeah, exactly. That's right. So every fucking one of us, it, let's do this. We got the effects back again. Cool. Why, why does it do that? That's so weird. 
whatever. It's not working. Yeah, it oh, is. it is. We'll have the hearts. There. This is oh, my a... God. The little hearts above your head is so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. You're my love. <laughs> that proves it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Anyway, I wanted to put that on because this is in love. My speech is so loud and angry, but this is in love. These thought groups like Zionism and MAGAism, you need to come out of. Have the birds come back yet? No. There's no, no tweets. I think they died. They're gone. There's no tweets anymore, No man. more birds for us. They used to tweet all the time. I know. It was so cute. They're all gone. You look so cute. You do, too. Put it on you. Look at the hearts on you. Oh, little baby girl. I have hearts on my head. Look at how cute the baby girl is. Oh, I, I move my head and the hearts fall oh, out. They follow oh. you because you're cute. They love you. Oh, I am mm -hmm. a queen, babies. Yeah. A queen. Mm -hmm. Where's your crown? What? We don't have you. Yeah, you you have your crown, don't you? In that one bag. Do I have my crown? I gotta get you your crown out. I'm gonna get you your crown. I can put on my crown. Yeah, I need some scissors. Though. Yay! I gotta take it wrapped up in. There's never scissors when I look for them. Never. Are they in the box? I always put them right here. Are they in the box? Gone, probably. Yeah, you're right. I know. I want the birds back. I miss the birds. I'm going to lose my mind. It's like for real. There's 15 pairs of scissors in this fucking place, and I can never find them when I need a pair of scissors. Nope. Whatever. I'm going to get your crown, though. Okay. Where's your crown? <laughs> Oh, my crochet. I love it. Yeah, beautiful. Here's your... Uh, uh. Yes! Ooh! We have a little stuff left. Wow, that... that looks yes, like, my Jeffree Star! That looks like an heirloom piece you'd get. You'd get. Yes! The okay. Bloodlust palette. Yeah. Wait, wait, yes. Bloodlust. I barely have used this, actually. Yeah, Look at this. Look at these colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I should start using this palette. Totally. Because it's so beautiful. And, and, and the mirror is like high tech. Woohoo! Look at all this Jeffree Star shit you have. Oh my god, yes. You should have this stuff. Yes. Look at that shit. I have the mini orgy palette. Yeah. By Jeffree Star. These colors are gorgeous. This, this, what is it called? Frozen Fire. This is absolutely stunning. This, like, gold, this, like, gold rose, like, pink. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. All right. This is, I have two of these actually. Yes. Oh my God. This is my favorite palette of Jeffree Star's collection, the yeah. Jawbreaker. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Isn't I that beautiful? Look at, I just, I just, I just love. Jeffree's awesome. This, I actually bought the other palette because obviously this color Jawbreaker, I was like using all the time. But look at this palette. Like the Jawbreaker. Is like almost full, right? But the mirror is broken. Beautiful. So he makes such beautiful stuff. And then I have the uh, the Jeffrey Star. Uh, this is a graveyard palette. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the graveyard palette. Graveyard. Yeah. That's cool, man. I have that one. I would use that one to dock my. I have up. the actual orgy palette. There it is. Yes. Wow. 
Yeah. All natural, neutral colors. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is the type of palette you would you would want to wear at like your job or an orgy. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then I have this. I got this from an Ipsy bag. And this that is awesome. the Tetris palette. I love that. I love the Tetris palette. This is awesome. Aren't those cute colors? See, we're blessed. We have the little stuff. I am. I'm blessed. blessed. I have a little bit of stuff. We really do. I have yeah. a lot of makeup palettes. You have two jawbreakers? I have two jawbreakers. That's awesome. I got the other jawbreaker, like I said, because the j actual color jawbreaker. Yeah. You used I, it. I used it. I all used up. it. I see. I bought this palette. When did you get uh, another job breaker? I when know. I got the royal, I think. Okay. But um <laughs> same palette. Mm. I I got this one because I wanted th just this color. You used that color so much. I did. And look at the pink. It's almost gone. Yeah. Like that's your shit. That was my shit. <laughs> like you look so good, dude. Oh my god. When you had the blonde hair. Yes. Every guy, I swear to Christ, it was every guy was looking at you. Mom. His makeup is so pigmented. Absolutely love it. I'm telling you, Shannon, you seriously need to do makeup tutorials. See? Yeah. Do it. I should. You could do it right here, honey. You got a good backdrop. Yeah. You could do it. The o -ring. True. Start doing them. I do it at night so the light doesn't. Night? Move. Yeah. Tell them then you're going to do that. Do uh -huh. it. I guess I should. Yes, please do. I have a shadow palette in the shape of a hamburger. Oh my God, that sounds so cute. And all the names of the colors are named after what you would put on a burger. Oh my God. Can you show me a picture of it? I'd love to see it. That's awesome. That sounds so cute. Yeah, it does. I like makeup. I like doing makeup. Oh my God. Thank Jesus for music. I do. I truly love doing makeup on myself. You're amazing. That Serafina <laughs> thing you did. I love doing wild makeup. That, I love do you doing know how good those videos were. Yeah. That was They took them from me. They knew they were good. They still exist. We should grab them and put we should start grabbing the reaction channel stuff that they exist. Do our own revelation videos. That sounds good. On YouTube and upload the shit. Mm. That's it. We should do <gasps> You have a taco one too? <laughs> That's so cute. I need a computer. So do I. I need a computer, guys. I need a computer and a video editor. Because I'm telling you not, right now. Not an actual person. Like yeah. the program the on program, the computer. Yeah. I'll edit my own videos because I have the college experience and the years of experience on YouTube doing it. What you did with, with, with Power Director was amazing. Yes. That intro you made with, and it was just stock footage and stock yes. music. You are incredibly good at editing. Mm -hmm. We got to find a hater video that has that intro. Yeah. yeah we got to grab that. And clip it. Yeah. You're awesome, man. Thank you. You really are. You're born to do this shit. I know. And they put their fucking boot on your neck because you were an atheist, and then you're going, no, I love Jesus now, and they attacked your shit. They attacked for, everything for you. That's for when years. it started. Yep. I want people to understand that. The shit that we've gone through is because we're Christians. We have been persecuted for the name of Jesus, Shani and me. Much less me, mainly her. And my children. And your children. That are the biggest victims. Yes. That their lives have been so shaken at such young ages. But they came right through it because they're strong because you made them strong. I did. To all the girls that want to fuck me, God bless you and I love you. But I love this girl so much. She is a treasure to the planet and to humanity. Female John the Baptist. Oh, you guys have kids. No, I, I'm not. I'm stepdad. He's stepdad. They're my sons. I have two boys. Yeah. Or, well, they're not boys oh, anymore. They're young men. Girl. I have a 15 and 17 year old. God um, bless them. They're beautiful boys. They're amazing. 
they're in foster care because I can no longer uh, take care of them because of my um, my your disability. Health. Your health. Yeah. yeah. CPS even said that the main reason that the boys aren't with us is because the state of the mother is severe illness. And yeah, I had a moment where I got, I, I disciplined my son. That's what I did. Okay. I'd never kicked him in the face. Nothing like that. Nothing like that happened. You, you can't even find a court record on that. No, th th there were no charges. I went before the judge and he said, there are no charges in this case. It's dismissed. And I was let go that day. I disciplined my son. She was already mad at me so bad for other things that it turned into calling the cops and it wouldn't have happened if we didn't have a fight that night. The same night she took this magic deck that I, it's my beloved Eldrazi deck. And she's like, let's play 52 pickup, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and she's tossing them all over the fucking place. I'm like, oh, because oh, oh, I'm such a fuck. 